What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Touch Styles. I know it's been a while, but today I'm going to show you how to bust down the middle part. Close your wig. Make sure you stay tuned so you can learn this game. Let's go. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Vibes, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show y'all really quick how to make a closure look like a frontal and how to pluck your lace to make it look extra good. So this is a middle part. It's going to be a bust down. I put the highlights in myself. First thing you're going to do is apply your setting lotion. You want to make sure that you comb the hair out as much as possible. Go ahead and slap it on top of that mannequin head, and you want to put your middle part in and start combing the hair all in the same direction. I like to put my middle part in as I pluck, so that way I know exactly how it looks um, when it's going to sit on the person's head. And my closure look a little lopsided on the mannequin head, but it's part it the right way so once I put it on the person it's gonna be right I like to part out my baby hairs first um, this one's gonna be a middle part bust down so I'm gonna just do the one baby hairs on each side so go ahead and part out your baby hairs This is how much baby hairs I left out. Y'all can see my middle part right there. Now I'm about to start plucking. You don't want to pluck too much because you don't want it to look bald, but you want to pluck enough. Um, it's kind of hard to see this side, but I am like point cutting in one spot, which means I'm um, plucking wide in one spot, and then I skip a spot, and I do wide in the next spot, and I skip a spot, and I pluck wide in the next spot, if that makes sense. So y'all see how I got like a few little bald looking spots, and then there's spots where you can actually still see the hair. And after I do that, I go ahead and like stretch um, pluck. That's when you pull back, but you don't stay in the same spot. You keep moving around and pull straight back. So once again, like you're going to pluck at one spot, you're going to skip the next spot, pluck at another spot, skip that spot, and then pluck at another spot. And you're going to keep doing that till you get all the way down to the end of the closure. Pluck at one spot, skip the next spot, and keep doing that pattern. And then once you finish your front row, then you'll go back and you'll um, like stretch pluck. I'm just making up words. And that's when you pluck going straight back, but you don't stay in the same spot. You want to move all around. And that gives you that nice sharp look, that clean look. Yep, and just pay attention to how I am pulling back as I pluck for this spot. I am not staying in the same spot. And your closure should look something like this. It's going to look so nice and cute and bust down once it's finished. Um, let me know if y'all have any questions and comment them down below. And now for the ones that was hating the whole time. And aha, uh -huh, look at the install. Nice and flat, neat. Highlights is by me colored by me the curls is hand curled by me lashes is by me middle part bust down by me look at the baby hairs and i did that and that's just that on that make sure you subscribe 